Hello, I'm Alter Random Banana, and welcome back to the Tech News. In today's show, we're talking about the new Pebble Time smartwatch, Valve's new stuff they're really, they'll be announcing at GDC, 5G at a super fast speed of one terabit per second, and the sad passing away of Leonard Nimoy, Mr. Spock. So, to start off with, the new Pebble Time. It's a new smartwatch by the people that made the Pebble and the Pebble Steel. And it is their new logo is awesome smartwatch, no compromises. I quite like that. It is, features an e-ink display, same as the last one, except this time it is a coloured e-ink display, and they refreshed the design of the UI. They were supposed to have, they had a five hundred thousand dollar goal, and with twenty seven days to go, they have raised eleven million four hundred sixty five thousand one hundred thirty six dollars. So we will, we definitely be seeing the Pebble Time in the future. It will have a battery life of seven days like the other one and has a microphone built in so you can record messages and send things back to people if you're out and about. As a, so that's a very nice looking smartwatch that we'll be seeing later on this year, sometime between now and summer. Valve is making its very own VR headset along with the new revised Steam machines and controllers at the GDC 2015. In the past, uh, they haven't done much virtual reality stuff. So it'll be quite interesting to see what Valve's virtual reality headset will be like. I think it'll be very similar to the Oculus Rift, except I think that it'll be cheaper, mainly because there was a silhouette showing off, and it had three things coming at the top, and one looked like a DVI, and then the other one must have been a USB and a, um, a sound in or something like that for headphones, I don't know. But the, the fact it's using a DVI instead of its own, you know, thing instead of display port on that is so that you can basically basically what I think I th this is speculation from me on my behalf so don't hold me to it I think it'll be designed more for the cheaper end so you'll be able to use it cheaper meaning I think that the actual device itself will be cheaper they will also be unveiling their latest steam machine as we saw one last year or well, we saw like 15 last year and more of those will be unveiled probably another 15 or something that was a joke uh, and they will also be showing off their latest iteration of the controller which went from having touchpads to thumbsticks back to one touchpad and thumbsticks to now pretty much just looks like the Xbox controller um, 5G researchers managed to a record connection speed of one terabit per second now think about that for a minute I just got fiber optic the other the other day literally like Monday of this week and I only get about 70 megabits per second download you know and then go up to 70 gigabits per second and then keep on going and we get to one terabit per second that's the kind of speeds you'll be getting when we get 5g which won't be quite a while Japan have actually announced that they'll be using 5g at their Tokyo Olympics in 2020 which will be very interesting to see so on to the last piece of news, the sad passing away of Leonard Nimoy, otherwise known as Mr. Spock of Star Trek, died at the age of 83. Which is very sad because I'm a big fan of Star Trek. I'm not wearing my t-shirt right now, just realised it's in the wash or something. But I love Star Trek, it's a shame to see him go. So I'm Alter Random Banana, stay tuned for more tech news, Kerbal news, game news and anything else I can be bothered to put up. So, stay tuned for next time. Remember to subscribe. Bye-bye.